Hi, Ashley. Sorry to hear you're not going to Boston. I know Boston BU is a uh, is a little expensive. A lot of schools like that are are expensive. But any school you get into is good. It's more uh, what you do at the school that, that is the that that is the thing. And, uh, and I think you'll do well no matter what you do uh, and where you go. Anyway, I'm responding to your video uh, on uh, on uh, fancy foods and restaurants. Uh, I'm kind of, I was on the periphery of Project 12. I found you and another person that I'm friends with, uh, An Angela, on, uh, who she's up, up, up here in Toronto. Uh, I found you, you and, and, the other, and the other person, uh, Angela, through Project 12, because I was invited in by Chris to Project 12. I received the email from him, uh, replied a bit. I don't know if it was late or whatever, uh, but I never really heard back from him. Uh, and <laughs> the rest is history. I mean, I, I vlog every day anyways. It doesn't really make a difference. I joined Vita. I'm doing Vita now, vlogging every day in April. But I was vlogging every day anyway, so it didn't really make a difference. So I'm kind of on the peripheries of Project 12 and sort of, you know, uh, so I thought I'd respond to your video that, uh, a more, I, I, I like a casual environment. But uh, my uh, my kind of di my dining experience is, uh, comes from my culture, and the Greek background I'm from is the my ancestry is uh, the because they're, they're Greeks from all over the place, not just in Central Greece and this, and this is historically, uh, but uh, my ethnic culture of the Greek culture comes from in uh, Greek culture in, in Turkey and the Middle East, uh, particularly Syria, uh, because the, uh, the my Greek ancestors, my last name, traces back to the Greeks of Cappadocia inside of Turkey, and my mom's side is she's Syrian-Lebanese, and the cultures there are so spread out in terms of, because they're on the Silk Road, uh, the cultures stretch all the way from from Africa on the west, all the way east uh, to Asia. So it's, it basically all those cultures along the Silk Road are all sort of shared with the culture that I have, and that's a what it call um, uh, it's a me you know you know the the cultures the, that that uh, eastern culture. These are massive food cultures. I mean, there's so much food. It's like you, <laughs> you, you don't. There's no way to know where it starts and where it, where it ends. And so that's kind of been my dining experience. And uh, most of my uh, relatives, a, lar a large chunk of my relatives, anyways, you can't go into a restaurant without finding uh, either an Asian person or a Greek person in there. And because of that, uh, the restaurant experience, from casual to fine has always been part of my home experience. Uh, I grew up in an immigrant neighborhood, uh, particularly Greek and, 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 and Middle Eastern, and then now, where I live now, I'm in an Asian immigrant neighborhood. Um, so, and I find, like I say, I find the, the, these types of immigrants uh, from, from, from my culture and from the Asian culture, which is sort of an extension of the Greek culture, or, in, or I should say Asia even extends into the Greek culture, because they shared back and forth, uh, they're very similar to each other. They have a lot. There's a lot of commonality in in, in the types of foods they have, and in terms of fine dining, uh, when you bring it home and you learn how to cook and you learn and you know how to bake, then fine dining is more or less a manner of uh, the way you prepare your foods rather than the restaurant that you go to and. Because I do uh, do know how to cook like that, I've learned from my grandmothers, my aunts, my un and my uncles, and I've learned from the various different Asian people around here how to cook the Asian food. Uh, I have a number of fine dining options right here in my own place. That I have in terms of my menu, and I, I be every two to three months I change up my menu that I have here in my place. So, anyways, uh, I I hope um, you like the response. Uh, it's nice talking to you again. And uh, if you have anything, if you say anything uh, else that I find interesting, I'll, I'll pop by and say hello and uh, maybe comment. And if 
you find anything you want to say here, comment back. All right, take it easy.